Anyway, I'm going to move the conversation topic on slightly because we've actually got a viewer topic that wants to be covered. Believe it or not, we do. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, go go ahead. Who's the who's the viewer? Is it the viewer is actually a work colleague of mine? <laughs> Believe it or not. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. Is this is this, is this my double? <laughs> hey, yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, the God, other brand, not, not in name, but in uh, personality. Yeah, well, he doesn't exist. There's no other me. <laughs> so, despite like, it's based around now. It's based around football, but it's not about football. It's a, it's an ethical kind of thing. So I don't know if you're aware in the news this last week this thing about a, a player called Christian Eriksen. M. Yeah. Who, yeah, he, he he collapsed right during the match yeah he had a cardiac yeah. arrest and how the the whole thing is about how the bbc didn't cut coverage on it and they kept the cameras on it all throughout the entire thing and the question being posed to us is that is that right or should the bbc have had a better responsibility and cut away instead of focusing on uh... well all right well, let's be courteous first. Thank you, Jake. Jake, you're not me, by the way. So <laughs> nice try, kid. <laughs> what? It, it looked like you know Anthony had a, a little go at it. So go ahead, mate. Logic behind maybe keeping the camera on is so that people know what's happening, maybe. So he died. He actually did die. He did died he? on the pitch. Yeah, he died on the pitch. Gosh. So they, had to, so they had to resuscitate him, restart his heart. But they've, yeah, and they've fitted him with... They fitted him with a... Uh, it was a weird name. It's called a heart starter. So I imagine he he has abnormal heart rhythm, apparently. I can't remember. It echoes back to a player who collapsed, who had a heart attack yeah. years ago called Fabrice Mwamba. His incident basically kick-started that whole thing of having defibrillators installed at major buildings across the country just to, in case one is in a situation. Yeah. I suppose to the ethical thing about, I guess if you want to see if he's okay or if I feel like they could have cut away sooner, definitely, like, cut back to the studio, maybe. Because it's one of those situations where it's, obviously, it's stressful for his teammates, his friends, his family, so... And even one of the presenters in the studio who was doing coverage for the BBC did get quite distressed because it's that thing of, like, echoing back to Fabrice Moamba, who as we've just talked about, but um, yeah, I think they could have cut away sooner because it is a distressing situation. I doubt they deliberately kept the camera off. No, because at the end of the day, let, all right, this is my two cents on it. At the end of the day, the BBC doesn't give a f about the ethics of something. As, if something is going on, they're going to cover it. They had no idea what was going on either. No. Yeah, you know, these are people that are just pointing a camera and they're streaming it and they're like, okay, a play has fallen over. They're probably, you know, whatever condition they're in. They didn't know. No. If you're asking regarding the ethics of it, because these are two different things at the end of the day, like entertainment versus ethics, you know, it's... You go, if you're an entertainment company, yeah, you're going to keep the camera on the guy having a heart attack on the pitch because, whoa, why wouldn't you? Because then you can, you know, put that on the YouTube channel and that's got a lot of views because that's where I watched it. I was on mm. the YouTube channel because I didn't watch the game. I only watched England. I didn't care about anyone else. The ethics of it, yeah, they probably should have cut away. But I am not going to apply ethics to the BBC. They're going to show what is going to bring in the the kind of the viewership and it's not yeah. just the bbc that i'm showing this is no. the amount of studios that are going to be at 
the UEFA. Did they upload it after the after fact? Oh. They never, I don't know if they loaded it after the fact, like well, as soon as it's gone up, but they did a news coverage of it later that day. I don't know how long it takes for them to upload stuff on their YouTube, but it's on there if you can watch it. Was, it was a live event, wasn't it? It was being live broadcasted. Live broadcast it, yeah. yeah. But, then, but then that live broadcast that wasn't uploaded on the BBC website, but you know, them talking um, about it happened. They, they started playing other programs. They, they, they did a rerun of an old comedy or whatever. And then in the middle of that old rerun, they cut back to the team at the desk who were doing coverage of the match for the BBC and were like, uh, they've rescheduled the match now. So I think they rescheduled. They, Played the match later that evening, didn't they? My issue is actually with, like, the UEFA. I think they should not have rescheduled this match. I think later that day... It's a bit tasteless. It's t- like It's just like, I know you have a tight schedule, COVID. I'm sure it's madness for you to have to reschedule a match. But these are a team that literally watched their guy die. We have to be resuscitated. Like... They stood around him. I don't know if you've seen it, Lars, but they yeah, they, too. they they formed a circle around him as he was being resuscitated. I I know I wouldn't want to go and do a football match after watching well, like, he, you know, Lawrence have a heart attack. He yeah. collapsed in the forty third minute, so it was yeah. literally just before half time. Yeah, yeah. So what they actually sort of slight correction there they didn't start the match over what they did was played the last couple of minutes of the first half again and then played the second half but they sort of had to rejig what in what space they took breaks and stuff because of the disruption that the incident caused but yeah but you know like again like on the whole ethics thing Oh. I agree with like Anthony. I know it's, I don't know if it's your opinion, but you did say it, is that I think it is important to show these things because oh, it, yeah. it blew me away. I was like, these are the most healthy motherfuckers, you know, mm. in general population. These are guys that literally work out every day, yeah, and they still had a heart attack. Yep. A, a condition that we tend to associate with people that are unhealthy, overweight, who have bad diets. These aren't those people. One minute, he's running. He's looking great. He's being a footballer. Next minute, he's dead. And it's like, whoa. It, it makes you kind of sit back and be like, oh, f- uh. You know, maybe, you know, I guess a bit philosophical here, but, you know, enjoy every goddamn moment you can because, you know, just because you look great, just because you're as fit as a dog, as they say, you know, like, yeah, you never know, where, you never know when your your time is. Also, as we've been talking about, like, the ethical side of things as well, it kind of seems like you could maybe interpret it as, like, the camera people were just shocked and they were like like they were unable to cut away because they're shocked and they're like oh f- what do we do um, oh, again it's not it's like again it's not like the cameraman is probably not shot yes yeah, so i'm sure some of them were but what else are you going to point your camera at it's mm. just players standing there like this but surely like in that case there's a control room that would be able to cut the of feet. course there's a control yeah. room they, well, they literally most do of that the... cut away to different cameras is that I match just being I... aired on the bbc or was it itv as well BBC. it was just just bbc yeah all, okay. the, all the matches that i've seen which is like one because again england's only played once it's been on the bbc but like i did that i i did control room stuff at college where i i controlled the cameras like we had all the ca- the stationary cameras set up for this catwalk and i controlled the the, the, the machine mm. so of course they have that you know bbc and most likely it's at the bbc but what are you gonna show 
And to be fair, you, most of the rest of the footage after his collapse is yeah. his teammates just standing around him. You know what I mean? Yeah, but to be they, fair, they, they even cut away to his wife crying. Like, it's not super. Oh, you know, it's not super. Like, you don't have to debunk it. They're showing what is the money makers. People also, are making decisions because it's ethical. They're doing it because it makes money, and then they might disguise it as ethical. You would assume, being a general viewer, that the Beeb would take the ethical approach, but as Bradley has been saying, it does, no chance. from a purely it, cynical hmm. standpoint, yeah. it I am in views. I am going to be completely honest here and human. If I was watching that game, I would want to see. I would want to see. I'm being straight up honest. Yes, of course I want to see. It's called morbid curiosity, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That that's like if that they, is, if they, yeah. like you know, no, you know, again, being honest. If the BBC cut away from Christian Eriksen, I'd be like, you mother, what are you doing? I want to see. In the grand scheme. They yeah. probably should have cut away, and it seemed a yes. bit weird to re- to have the second half of the match play when they could. Uh, that but I also, but also structurally, as you say, the Euros, given the current world climate, it is a bit. They're on a tight schedule, and they are because there's a, there's a game played every day. It's been on every day. You can't yeah. reschedule that. No. Without impacting the rest of your schedule, because these players need a rest. So, okay, let's say you push that up the next day. Then they're going to yeah. need equal rest as compared to the other games that are playing. So then you have to reschedule everything. It's not. It's not possible. As for Ericsson himself, he he's in hospital, I believe. He's recovering. Um, he's been fitted with a heart starter. Im- implantable cardioverter defibrillator so not like uh, just a pacemaker basically yeah yeah uh, you will shock Nes- your heart if you have a heart attack uh describe uh boson who i think is the manager for yeah. the danish team describe uh necessary due to rhythm disturbances following his cardiac arrest but that you know as I, I, I'm not an expert here, but it sounds like the end of his career. It doesn't sound like you're uh, going to after that. Walking yeah. around with a heart pacer? No. I, I can't remember whether uh, Fabrice Muamba carried on his career after he had his heart attack in that match. I, but, like, let's be honest. Like, if you're a manager, hey, we have this guy. And then we have Christian Eriksen, who could ha- possibly have a heart attack on the pitch. Yeah, so uh, so the other player I was on about, Fabrice Mwamba, he's he suffered his heart attack in the March of 2012. Yeah, I think I remember that, yeah. And his heart stopped for 78 minutes. Whoa! He was He was dead for over an hour. Uh, following you, medical advice, he announced his retirement from professional football in August exactly, the same year. Exactly. He, I'd be very surprised if Christian Eriksen played again. But to be honest, Christian Eriksen wasn't dead an hour. There's going to no. be major condition that you're going to have being dead an hour because your, oh, your brain, yeah, but even major brain damage because that's going to your brain yeah, begins dying as soon as there's no blood. But he apparently he watched. The rest of the game from hospital. Oh yeah, I have a heart attack. Yeah, again. yeah. Pro- I don't know. <laughs> but, um, I know a lot of people have visited him. I know he's doing fine and everything, but yeah, I, 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 I don't see him playing again. No. Thanks, Jake. <laughs> nice try being me, but it ain't gonna happen. No, no. Yeah, nice suggestion, man. It's a, it's an interesting. Topic, especially recently since. Oh, really? Is this the next new segment? <laughs> what viewer? The audience, viewer. <laughs> <laughs>